Alright, this video here is to show you guys how to enable or display RSSI through Crossfire onto your Betaflight OSD. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is set up your Crossfire correctly. So I'm going to turn this on. And then to get this to connect, I'm going to go ahead and just plug in a, a quad that I've already got this enabled on. All right. Now we can actually get into that micro receiver. I'm going to long press on this thing. And go down to micro receiver version 2. And what you're going to do is come over here, and, and I'm not sure, you should probably be able to get this to work on a channel. This is just how I was instructed on how to do it, so if it's not broke, I'm not fixing it. So we're going to go change this to 12 channel. Uh, telemetry is off, it seems to work with it off. And we're going to go to output map, make sure that's correct. That's how mine looks. I'm assuming that's correct. I'm going to channel map here, and this is where it's actually important. What you want to do is change channel 12 or, or whatever channel you're going to use over to LQ. And there's other things you can select here, but LQ is the one that it works with. So once you've got all that stuff, you're actually good to go on the crossfire side. So then we can move on to the computer portion of it and uh, through Betaflight I can show you what to do with enabling it there. Alright, uh, as far as the Betaflight portion of this setup goes, what you're obviously going to do is connect your flight control to Betaflight. And then you're going to go into the receiver tab and change your RSSI channel to 12 or, or add it, it should be disabled by default. Uh, and again, this, this should work over different channels, but RSSI or the RSSI over channel 12 is where I was told to do it. And uh, all this information came from the, uh, the TBS group on Facebook. So change that to 12, save it, reboot it, you should be good to go with that and uh, I'm going to just show you real quick what it looks like uh, oh and you'll need to enable it through your OSD as well so pretty much right there just put that wherever you'd like to I just have mine up in the upper left hand corner so hopefully this video helps you guys and um, I, don't, I haven't seen anything negative about it yet. Uh, there was some talk of extra latency and whatnot. I don't think this adds anything. I, I just went out almost a mile the other day and had no issues. So, thanks for watching.